everyone. I wanted to put together this video to show you how to add a topic in Flipgrid. And then um, if, we, if there's time, I will show you how students can respond. If there is not time, I'll post that in another video. So once I'm into Flipgrid, I will come over to, well, make sure that you're in the group that you want. So I'm in demo two. I'm going to click on add a topic. And I'm simply going to add the topic that I want the students either to discuss or what I want them to show to me. So with uh, all or many students working from home, working online, this would be a good way for them to show you um, the actual uh, test or paper product that you have them um, complete. And then you can view it, you can pause it, and you can see what their answers are or whatever you may have them complete. So I'm going to demo. picture. And the prompt might be complete the assignment on paper. And then if I can type, hold it up to the screen. So like I showed before, taking a picture on the Chromebook, um, they, the students can then email those pictures to you or they can upload it to Google Classroom. If you do it from here, all the students will have to do is click on this link, which I'll show you most likely in the next video, and then you'll have them all in one spot and they can hold it up so you can see it. Okay, down below, you can uh, allow them to add uh, media or you can add media. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. Down below that says custom set custom topic permissions. Um, and all that basically says is if there's a topic moderation, I would choose this that way uh, you need to, as the teacher, can release um, the videos to the rest of the class. Um, if you don't want them to see it, they'll never see it the rest of the class. Um, but I would not let the students just um, have access to posting things without you viewing it first, especially if it's going to be some kind of work that they need to turn in. Down below, you have recording time. It can go from 15 seconds all the way to 10 minutes. Uh, on the right, students can respond up to you, whether you want students to be able to um, put video comments or text comments. Uh, if it's a test or some kind of work that they're turning in, you probably don't want them to. Um, but if it's some type of uh, project where you want the students to respond to each other, this would be a good way to do that. I'm going to click on, oh, down below it says save changes to my default setting, to my default settings. If this is how you're going to want it every single time, you can make this your default. If not, leave it unchecked. For this one, I'm going to click on none. So there's no comments. I click on create topic. I'm going to, or what you can do is you can add it to a Google Classroom page. Um, so if I click on share to Google Classroom, it's going to take me to my Google Classroom pages where uh, I can choose which class I want to share it with. Students would then go into your Google Classroom click on that link. It will take them right to Flipgrid, which I'm going to show you in the next video. And they simply click on it. It opens up uh, their camera and they're allowed to record. That's all for this video. As always, if you have any questions, please contact me and I would be happy to help. you.